When our quarantine first started in my state, I knew that I wanted to turn my garage into a gym. I started out with all drywall, no paint. I knew I wanted to do one wall black and the other two white. The black wall I also wanted to turn into an accent wall with some really cool brick ideas with some spray paint. So this is how I did it. As you can see, we first started with the one wall that's gonna be black and um, we wiped it all down to begin with and started painting it. I'm saying we because I have two helpers. I have uh, my best friend David and um, my um, teenage helper Tristan. So after we got the black wall done, I knew that I wanted to do the brick idea. With For the brick, you needed um, painter's tape and spray paint. I chose metallic spray paint because I wanted a metal silverish look. So as you can see, as we're putting the tape on, the lines are not straight. Um, there is no exact sizing for the bricks. That's because I wanted to go with a street art kind of look. I'm really big into street art and I thought, how cool would it be to turn my badass gym into a gym with street art in the back? So as you can see, I was taping everything. Um, I did everything myself, except for obviously the parts that are above my reach. That's where my friends and my handy helpers came in. So this is the wall once it's all taped up and um, almost ready for the spray paint. This is the spray paint I chose to use. So I chose the metallic because I wanted it to have a metal look. Um, I didn't really have a technique. I just kind of wisped it um, all up and down it um, in short sprays to get a kind of a spray paint street art look. Let that dry for about 30 minutes. The red mark, excuse that, that's just a reflection from something in the garage. Um, as I started removing the tape, one of the things that we did run into is some of the black latex paint underneath kind of peeled off a little bit and stuck to the painter's tape. So I highly recommend for anybody that uses um, any kind of latex paint, but especially um, any of the darker colors, to prime your wall first. Um, it's definitely going to help a lot if you're painting over with latex paint on drywall. So you can see as we remove the tape and the bricks start coming through. The white spots where the latex paint um, came off, we actually ended up taking a smaller little painter's brush and just used some of our leftover black latex paint to fill those um, blank spots in. Now, I wasn't too worried about it, um, making the lines not even or not perfectly straight um, on those splotches because again, I wanted a street art look. This is the finished project for that wall. And then I had to start the plain white walls. Um, same thing goes, I highly recommend priming the walls first before um, doing the latex paint. It helps greatly. So that's one wall done. And now I'm going over here to finish this last wall. Um, you can see I had my handy helper do the top part first. So I'm just gonna do this bottom part and um, get that done. So this is my, um, my little setup. My paint and my rollers. <clears throat> Um, I prefer for the, the larger parts to use the roller because you do definitely get a lot more on there and it covers a lot better. And then I use a little brush for the tiny details and the edging. So this is with all of the walls are painted. And now for this wall. For this wall, I knew I wanted to spray paint a really cool quote. So um, I planned on using this quote right here where it says just don't quit but then it also has just do it um, in there. I thought that that would be really cool but I want to do mine in black and silver. So what I'm going to need, started making a list. The first thing that I'm going to need is cardstock. So I actually didn't have any cardstock and I used printer paper, um, which was a lot more difficult. So I highly recommend cardstock for anybody else that does this exact project. The next thing that I'm going to need 
is the painter's tape. Oh, I'm sorry, a printer. Uh, the printer is um, how I printed off. I found the font that I wanted and then I printed it off onto said cardstock. Although I use printer paper, you can use cardstock. Um, you're gonna need a box cutter and an X-Acto knife. That's gonna be to cut out the lettering. Once you have it printed, And then you're gonna need some scissors to finish cutting those letters out and some painter's tape. And you're gonna need painter's tape to paint the stents or to, to actually tape the stencils on the walls along with some spray paint of the colors of your choice. So you can see one of my stencils. I used the X-Acto knife to start the cutting and then it picked up the scissors um, once I had a good section cut with the X-Acto knife and then cut that way with the scissors so I didn't tear the paper. And then we used the painter's tape to line up. As you can see, we did a straight line across. Um, first, we made sure it was level and straight before we started putting our um, actual stencils up to make sure that the quote was straight. And then I did my spray paint, again, little tiny squirts at a time. Um, you don't wanna do big sprays because then you're gonna have a lot of um, paint matter that's gonna go on the outside of your quote. So to keep it inside the stencil as much as possible, um, I found that doing it closer up and in shorter sprays does best. 30 minutes dry and it's time to take the stencils off. This time we didn't have any problems as far as the tape um, pulling the latex paint underneath off, thank goodness. So there it is, just don't quit, just do it. My motivational quote. And now moving everything back into place around my garage. This is the fun part, moving furniture with my wheelchair. And this is the finished project. There's my great accent wall in the back right behind my rig where I train and my bench, and my motivational quote, and all of my garage goodies. Just don't quit.